An intense manhunt and shootout with police ends with the dramatic arrest of a man wanted for stabbing his mother in the head. Covington police have been looking for De Leon Rice since Sunday. And they found him just after 2 in the morning, but Rice ran and Ernie the canine tried to catch him. That's when police say Rice pulled a gun and shot at them and Ernie. The dog was hit twice. No other officer was hit and they returned fire, but Rice got away. A tip then led police to East Robin Street in Covington at about 7 this morning where they found Rice. Even uh, after uh, we located Mr. Rice, uh, at that point, he resisted uh, officers' attempts to, to take him into custody. We had an officer injured during that, that, that uh, situation and sent to the hospital. The officer was treated for his injuries at the hospital. Rice was taken to UC Medical Center with a gunshot wound to his foot. Police aren't sure if they fired the shot or if Rice shot himself. Canine Ernie had surgery today, too, and is expected to survive. This morning, Ernie did what he was trained to do, give a police officer a better chance at living through this encounter. Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us what Ernie did. When Daly and Rice was cornered, Ernie's handler gave him a warning, come out or Ernie comes in. Mr. Rice refused to comply, so the canine was deployed. Mr. Rice produced a firearm and shot the dog, as I understand it, twice. Um, he then uh, leveled his firearm towards our police officer and uh, began firing on the police officer. Now our officer returned fire. Here at the Cincinnati Police Academy, dogs are trained to do what Ernie did. The handler is assaulted by a bad guy and the dog is, breaks his position and protects the handler. The primary goal of a canine is to find bad guys like Ernie found Rice. Once they do locate somebody, they give the officer a second to a second and a half to save their own lives. Sometimes that means taking a bullet. Usually a suspect, if they do see a dog coming and decide that they want to try to take the officer's life or the canine's life, they will aim and shoot the dog first. Here at the Cincinnati Police Memorial, there is a headstone for police canine bandit killed in the line of duty in 1987 after he lunged for the gunman who had just killed police officer Clifford George. One bullet went through Bandit and hit his handler's leg. He took Bandit to the vet before going to the hospital. It's that kind of relationship. Ader understands it. He understands what Ernie's handler must be feeling tonight. I'm sure it's very hard for the handler. Um, that's his partner. They spend more time together than he probably does with his family. Um, that's why I am with him, with my partner. Uh, we spend about nine hours a day together every every day. Here at the Greater Cincinnati Police Museum, there's a plaque for Bandit and Handsome. One of the police department's first canine is on display. He chased down bad guys, including a killer, until he died in 1912. Ernie chased down a bad guy this morning, protecting his partner. I mean, that's his partner. He goes to work with him every day, uh, or every night in this instance. And uh, when the shift's over, they go home together. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, Ernie didn't get to go home today, but we're hopeful that he'll get to go home tomorrow. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And though Ernie is doing okay after surgery, there is a question as to whether he can return to duty.